The next lava episode in the Kilauea eruption will begin soon. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park Initial activity in episode 34 of the Kilauea eruption began overnight at the summit. Episode 34 of the ongoing Kilauea volcano eruption is about to begin, as initial lava activity was observed at the summit vent overnight. With inflation rates indicating the window for the start of the next episode has arrived, webcams captured the first lava outpouring from the north vent Sunday night at 9.47 p.m. HST. Scientists say the lava pool draining and strong splashing were completed by 9.53 p.m. HST, marking the first gas piston event with lava flow. No significant activity was recorded along Kalawea's East Rift Zone or Southwest Rift Zone. The USGS Volcano Alert Level for Kalawea remains at watch. Episode 33, Lava Fountaining, ended on September 19th. Lava erupting from both the north and south vents was observed overnight with nine lava outflows from the north vent. The summit is expanding again, and models indicate that episode 34 will likely begin today or tomorrow, September 29th or 30th, with a small chance of October 1st. No significant activity was recorded along Keilauea's East Rift Zone or Southwest Rift Zone. Episode 33 of Lava Erupting ended at 12.08 p.m. HST on Friday, September 19th. The UWD tilt meter indicates that the summit has expanded again since the end of the lava erupting episode, with an inflation tilt of 16 microradians. Overnight, the HVO webcam showed persistent luminescence from the north vent, punctuated by nine gas piston cycles of overflow and redrain at 9.47 p.m., 2.15 a.m., 4.16 a.m., 5.12 a.m., 6.18 a.m., 6.32 a.m., 7 a.m., 7.40 a.m., and 8.14 a.m., each lasting 5 to 10 minutes. There was intermittent strong luminescence from the south vent. This morning, the caldera was calm with passive gas plumes billowing from the vents. High levels of degasing continued from the vent. Average sulfur dioxide, SO2, emission rates during the lull typically ranged from 1,200 to 1,500 tons per day, although emission rates can vary over short timescales.
Winds at Sand Hill, just south of Halema Uma'u, blow from the northeast, indicating that volcanic gas emissions and volcanic material may be distributed southwestward across the Kau Desert within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Pele's hair, named after the Hawaiian goddess of volcanoes, is a fiber-like fragment of volcanic glass produced by lava erupting activity. These glass fragments can be carried more than 15 kilometers from the volcano. Volcanic ash, pumice, scoria, and reticulite are other examples of hot volcanic objects that can fall to the ground near the eruption site. The USGS states that other significant hazards in the area include crater wall instability, ground fissures, and rock falls that could be exacerbated by earthquakes. And this is why the area is closed to the public. Kalawea is one of the world's most active volcanoes and is located on the island of Hawaii, the largest of the Hawaiian archipelago. It is about 320 kilometers south of the state's largest city, Honolulu, on Oahu.